This is Dabu7. Here at this beginning of December 2018, we have the announcement that there's going to be this incoming comet, what they call 46P Wartanen. It's going to make a close approach to the Earth, and it's going to come closer than it has in like four centuries. Anytime this happens, it's wise to be on alert for other fireballs or meteors that it may kick up or bring with it that could be trailing that could fall into Earth's atmosphere. And this one specifically coming this close to Earth, we could see just that. So I wanted to put the heads up out there. Now, it's interesting because this Oumuamua that came out of nowhere came through the system, then hit hyperspeed and took off out of here that was cigar-shaped and metallic. That remains an anomaly, as well as some other things that have popped up. If you're seeing this later, then what I'm about to tell you about this asteroid they just picked up within the past 24 hours or so, it's expected to shave right past the Earth very closely here within the next day. So that's just another object that come out of nowhere that's going to shave the Earth. And we're just going to have to wait and see what happens with that. Any of these events could bring additional fireballs. We just witnessed a big fireball event over Hungary. Another one over California. If you guys are catching any of this, let me know. Dabu7yahoo.com. I'll make sure to share your footage and get it out there and let folks know what's going on. Now, some details to this one. You may recall I had tracked Comet Ison all the way in, all the way to its perihelion. I plan to do the same with this, but this is going to be a very, very small comet. Some of the details are interesting. They're saying that you're probably not going to see any kind of tail off of this thing. When these things start to happen, people want to question what exactly is the composition, what's going on with this thing. Bigger comets, especially when they approach the sun, they form two tails. An ionized tail, and you have one of them that, that sticks away from the sun constantly. The other is a debris kind of path tail that follows it. The other is ionized and always points away from the sun as it comes up near perihelion and makes its way out. This is going to be interesting. They state that the path of this coming in has been perturbed twice by Jupiter in the past decades. That's how much influence Jupiter has on these bodies as they're going through the solar system and can change their course. So, as of right now, they're expecting this close approach to go down on December 16th as this 46P or Tannin makes its way toward Earth and this is going to be just a couple days after per perihelion. So it's going to make its close approach on December 16th at 8.06 a.m. And that's what we know thus far. Uh, the projected encounter after that is said to be 2042, but they think it's going to be way further out by then. So this could be the closest that it comes ever. And it's not like it's going to strike Earth or anything like that given everything that they know, but what I like to put the heads up for are fireballs. We always see them associated with these close encounters. And I would not be surprised if we see more around these dates, but I'm going to continue to monitor this. I'm going to be doing updated videos, I'm going to be using different software, tracking this thing, and staying up to speed with it as it comes in. If we get updated images, or any of you guys out there got telescopes and you can get images of this thing as it's coming through, let me know. That's huge. And I'll make sure to share them and get them out there. But uh, interesting, all the things we got going on with these bodies in space. I'll leave a link below. Eyes to the skies.